Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons and in this particular lesson we're going to talk a little bit about flat picking, what flat picking is. Uh, we've actually been doing flat picking. We did flat picking with Turkey in the Straw. We've done flat picking with Arkansas Traveler and Wildwood Flower. But sometimes we do things and we don't realize what we're doing or what this actually consists of. A lot of times when people are playing Mount Dulcimer, they play what I refer to as vertically, in other words, up the length of the fretboard. And that is that's a very common way to do that. I showed you how to play it across. So what I want to show you is, you all know your scale going up, I would think, from zero to seven. You could also play that on the bass going straight up. But you can also play it across. And that's what I'd like to show you to start with. So a, a good way and a good reason to show you this is actually you can learn to tune your instrument to itself by understanding where these duplicated notes are. So if you play open on the bass string, one, two, three, you could go to four or you could go to the middle string open. Both of those notes are A's. D, E, F sharp, G, A, or D, A. So one of the things you can do is you can actually fret your bass string at four, and to put your instrument in tune with itself, tune this middle string to it. Let me, let me just tune this, make this out of tune. There you go. So what you can do is instead of playing vertically, play open, one, two, three, the middle string open, then the middle string at one with your ring, second fret at two with your pointer, and you could go to three, but three is the same as the first string open. So one of the things that you could do is, watch my pick, you can play out, 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 out. It's better to do this, out, back, out, back, out, back, out, back. So on the bass string, open, one, two, three. Now you came back on that, notice you're going out, out, I'm sorry, out, back, out, back, out on the middle, back on the middle string at one, out on two on the middle, and then back on the melody string open. So what I was showing you here, you can tune the third string. If you fret it, the bass string at the fourth fret, you can turn the th uh, tune the th middle string open, or you can hold the middle string at the third fret and tune the first string to that. So you can actually tune your instrument to itself. If you had the bass string in tune, you would have it in tune. Uh, if you don't have a tune or you don't have a perfect pitch, then it's at least in tune with itself, if you don't have a tuner. So one of the things that I would practice is simply, at first, just pick out, 
out, out, out, out, out, out, out, out, out, out, out. Just play your scale over. And you can continue up your fretboard. And then what you want to do is watch your right hand. After you get that down, you're going to pick out, back, out, back, out, back, out, back, out, back. And just start playing that faster and faster until you get this memorized and that you're very comfortable picking back and forth. Basically what you're doing, you're flat picking, is you're picking the quarter notes out and you're picking the eighth notes out and back. In other words, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and, or one, and two, three, four, and. If that makes any sense. I hope it does, it should. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four. So if you have quarter notes, you're just going out. If you have eighth notes, you're going out and back. So a bum ditty is a quarter note and two eighth notes. So let's do this again. And keep as you're going all the way up to your seventh fret here, as you're continuing your scale, you're gonna keep that back and forth motion. Now, once you get that down, then what I want you to do is I want you to start playing it backwards. So this is not hard. But you want to go from here. One thing that might help is take that backward scale and play Joy to the World because that's all your backward scale is. Sorry. Starting here. So being able to pick back and forth, and, and I have learned when trying to teach people, so many people just, they'll play things. In other words, they'll go, instead of going, they'll go, and they try to catch, they try to do the speed by just going one direction. That's, that's kind of like trying to hop on one foot. Uh, you can walk quicker with two feet than you can just hopping on one foot. So. That's what I would work on for this week. We're going to get into some flat picking coming up in the very, very near future. And I would like you to be able to get this scale down and also where you can pick back and forth and practice on songs you know. Make sure that if you're playing songs and you're playing eighth notes and you're going out, out, that you can start getting your pick to flow. And you will find out once you get the hang of it, it will come so very, very naturally. You won't struggle with it. It will not be something difficult at all to do. Uh, it'll just become very, very natural. So not a very long lesson, but a very important lesson. Uh, so please work on this, work on your scale going across and work on your pick direction. And we will get into some uh, flat picking tunes very, very quickly. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please share, uh, please comment, please like, and help me get the word out about these free lessons. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.